Hi, I'm Keisha Arsenault and I'm here to talk to you about the different ways that you can browse through the learning pathways. Here I am at our ebrschoolsedtech.org website and I'm on our learning pathways overview. Now it is possible from the overview to browse them from here, but I'm going to actually look through our menu. Right here under learning pathways you have several options. You have by job title, by pathway, or by benchmark. You probably want to start with job title just to see what might apply to you. So I'm going to take a look at school leaders. Under school leaders you'll see it says welcome to your pathways and it gives you a list of your pathways. Remember at the bottom of this page that there is a key to understanding this. Not all of these pathways are required for you. Some may simply be recommended, are optional, or they may only apply to certain uh, populations, or there may be some that it's an either-or kind of situation, so make sure you read those carefully. From this page, which was the career-focused one, because we're on school leaders, you can then choose to explore the pathway from here by clicking these individual buttons, or once you make the list of the pathways that apply to you, you can come back to the menu and then search by pathway, and click to it this way. So I'm going to go to the Chromebook 1 to 1 pathway just to see what it looks like. When you're exploring it by pathway, the kind of information that you should expect to get is an overview, who it's applicable to, what the objectives and skills are that you're going to cover, what the alignment is, and what the assessment is, which is always the technology readiness survey, but this is just another place where you can find it to take it. You also should find a list of the actual courses within that pathway. You also can find the matrix here as well, which gives all the pathways and all the courses in one easy to read document. So, we've talked about how you can explore them by job title and by pathway. You can also explore them by benchmark. So once you've taken your technology readiness survey and you know which pathways apply to you, you may simply want to come to your benchmark. So if I scored mastery and I go to the mastery benchmark page, I should expect to find um, a short explanation of what it means to be mastery and what my goals should be as well as my benchmark at a glance. So it's going to list all of the pathways which may or may not apply to you so make sure you know which ones apply to you. It's also going to list the overview courses which are required for all as well as the mastery courses which will be um, recommended or required for you since you scored mastery. So I can go through this in one glance and kind of have an easy to read list of which ones apply to me. Just remember that this chart includes, does not include the cohorts or the institutes or Google curriculum, um, that courses can be added or discontinued as needed, and that not all of these pathways necessarily apply to you. These are all of the pathways at your level. Um, which ones apply to you depends on what position you hold. So once again, there are several different ways of exploring the pathways. You can explore them by job title, by pathway, or by benchmark. And just to remind you, on all of these pages at some point, um, you are able to actually access the matrix, and the matrix has everything on uh, one document. So if you're looking for it all in one easy spot, um, you can certainly come here to get that as well. So there are plenty of options. Um, for how to explore the pathways and how to figure out what applies to you. Use the one that appeals most to you.